probably gonna have to net this one. Ooh. Today's the day, it is time to go fish Hartwell. This is going to be my second Queen City tournament. The first one was pretty uneventful. So hopefully we can turn this one around and we can actually get some bites and actually plays pretty good. So I fished Hartwell before, so hopefully it shouldn't be too, too bad. It's about 3.30 right now. We got about a two and a half hour drive to the lake. I'm going to a completely new spot, somewhere that I found on uh, the maps and everything. Somewhere where I think it's gonna be pretty productive. So hopefully that's the case. I'm gonna start heading over that way, but let's start getting ready for this tournament. We're out here on Hartwell. I keep hearing fish blow up like beside me on this dock where I launched at. So I think I'm gonna try fishing here. I don't know exactly where they're blowing up at over there. I just kind of hear them. So I'm just gonna fish this area real quick and see what I can do. I have the drop shot tied on. I have the wacky tied on. I have the jerk bait tied on. I have a jig tied on. I have a Texas rig tied on. I'm assuming that they're gonna be up shallow today. So that's gonna kind of be my guess. Uh, looking at the fish funder right now, that seems to be the case, at least where I'm at right now. So maybe we can get on them today. And with Queen City, it's a four fish limit, so I don't have to catch five. I just have to catch four, and they have to be 12 inches each, at least. I mean, if we can get bigger, you know, that'd be better. But we'll just kind of have to see. The water temperature is like 55 degrees. It's supposed to get a little windy today as the day goes on. So hopefully that won't be too bad. I have this one area that I'm gonna plan on fishing. I just thought I'd fish here real quick. And there's a lot of shallow spots up through there. So just in case. So probably after this, if this doesn't produce, it's probably where we're gonna go. We have until three o'clock to catch the last fish. And then at four is the last time that we can submit it. And then the award ceremony is at 4.30. So there's also 95 anglers signed up for this tournament today. And I think like first place takes home 1,800, I think. So I've only been to Hartwell like once or twice, maybe once on the channel. And I think one time whenever I first started fishing, I think I went to Hartwell. There we go, fish number one. All right, here's this little guy. We're gonna send him back on his way. Came out to 12 and three quarters of an inch. Thanks, buddy. There he goes. All right, that was fish number one. I don't know how much that one's gonna count for exactly because uh, part of my identifier wasn't in the picture. I have to write it down twice for the tournament. I mean, on the left-hand side it was, but we'll just have to see how they, they judge it and everything. But, not too bad. But hopefully we should catch bigger than that today, but I just wanted to submit that. Just in case. I think we just got another bite. Pretty crazy, because we're still like right by the boat launch. I could still see my car. But we'll check here in a little bit if that counted. If it didn't, no biggie. I also need to practice taking pictures of the fish while they're on the bump board that's actually the first i've ever done so it was a little little sloppy it took me a little bit longer than i expected but he still swam off fine so that's all that really matters it's pretty good though i was like i think like maybe like the tent cast oh and there's another one. Oh, that one feels better oh yeah maybe just finding the dinks right now. 
I don't think this one's gonna be big enough. Probably not, but we'll check. Oh, he's 11 inches. I'll send him on his way. One nice little look at the guy. Thanks, buddy. Pretty sunrise, though. So hopefully that's a good sign for the day. Let's see if there's any more on this bank. They might be sculled up there. There just might be a lot load on this bank. They might be pretty shallow because right now I'm in about eight feet of water. So that really makes you wonder if they're all going to be up shallow today. That's a pretty good indicator, though. I hope they count that one. But if they don't, we'll just try to catch bigger ones. If I was going to catch my limit, that would probably be the first one that I would call. So not a big deal if it doesn't count. Now, if it was a bigger one, I'd probably be a little bit more upset, but that is not the case. I love the wacky, though, it seems like. But if they do count that, three more fish for the limit for the tournament, so that'll be good. Keep hearing fish blow up all around me. Yep, there we go. Oh yeah, that feels like a good one. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, this one, we're gonna have to keep the identifier pretty good on it. Okay, we're probably gonna have to net this one. Ooh. Stay down, buddy. There we go. Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh, that's actually, that is a really, really good one. Look at that, guys. Hoo-wee. That's probably 17, 18 inches, maybe. All right. One last little look at that guy. 18.75, almost a 19-inch fish. Not too bad for a second one. Not too shabby, not too shabby. All right, we're going to send him on his way. I'm not going to get a weight on him. Still good fish, though. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you button. All right, guys, I had to run back to the car real quick because I needed to grab something for my uh, tag to clip to my catch board. So we're going to go back over here. I gave it a second to rest, and let's see if maybe we can keep getting on them. So good start, though. Two fish already. Uh, two more fish for a limit. I'm trying to be quiet because there was like three kayakers who launched in front of me and they went the other way. And I just, you know, I heard these over here and I was like, you know what? Let's try this. And I checked and currently we're sitting in fourth place. And you know, I mean, that doesn't really mean much. It's not even an hour into the tournament so far, but still a lot better than the performances I had this past month. These past few tournaments, I didn't even get to post a video because I just, I didn't catch anything. I did catch a few on Murray for the Bassmaster Kayak Series, but none of them were keepers, unfortunately. So, I didn't post it. Hopefully, if we can keep this up and they can keep it in the wacky rig, then it should be pretty good. So, it's a beautiful day. I mean, I had to get up at 3.30 this morning to come to this tournament, and I'm, I'm excited that I'm here. So... Let's just see if we can get two more fish. And I think they're going after bluegill. Since they're up shallow, they might be on beds. I haven't seen one yet because it's still pretty early. And the sun's not really hitting right there yet. But who knows? Maybe if they are on beds, then the bluegill profile might be the best bet. Well, let's see if we can actually get some good ones. If we can get some good ones and win this, I would... I'd love that. Or at least place in the top 25. Preferably the top 10 so I can cash a check. But I'd be happy with either, honestly. It's better than getting skunked in these past couple tournaments. So probably just work our way down this bank and see what we can get to bite. And then once we get our limit, we'll start trying to catch some bigger ones. It seems like the wacky might be the way for the day, but still pretty early. We'll have to see if the bite still stays the same throughout the day. 
but it's a good promising start. I did get an open mouth penalty on that small one for my first one, which isn't a big deal because I still have to, you know, cull it. That's going to be one of the first ones I cull, so it's not a big issue, but it does suck, especially if I don't catch any more besides the four, then that would be not that great. I'm going to think positive and just keep fishing. Happy that the wacky is performing so well already but there's so many little juicy areas like those trees over there that looks really good but i think i kind of want to stick up shallow because i feel like they might be up shallow i might hit up those trees here in a little bit but that big one that i caught was really shallow it was like probably less than like a foot or two i'd say i'm not sure because i didn't get up on that bank but he was not that deep that's for sure so maybe that's kind of a hint on what we need to do today. So I'm going to keep up shallow and if we don't get any bites and we'll switch to a little bit deeper, but I think we might be pretty decent. I think I might have just had one. Or I might have got hung. I fell a little bit of weight. He didn't feel that big, so that's not a big deal. Honestly, I'd really just love to catch my limit for this tournament. That's a personal goal for mine. Because like I said earlier, I just, I have not been doing good these past few tournaments. And a limit would be a real confidence booster. And, you know, if I could place pretty decent too, that would be a confidence booster too. I'm just going to have to see what happens though. There's a reason why they call it fishing and not catching probably heard that like a million times but it's probably one of the best sayings for fishing sometimes you just can't catch them sometimes you do sometimes it just shuts off there was a huge fish that just blew up like right in front of me Let's see if he'll take the jig never know that wind started to pick up a little bit which isn't a big deal, but I think it's supposed to get worse as the day goes on. So if that's the case, and the quicker I can catch my limit, the better. Preferably some with some size. It's been about an hour since I've caught my first fish and my second fish, really, because pretty much back to back. So decided to throw the jig a little bit. Ooh. I think I just got bit. I'll probably fish all these docks over here because it should be pretty shallow. And then uh, after that, I'm not really that sure. I might go the other way. I'm, I'm not really too sure. Uh, it's supposed to be pretty shallow up in there, so maybe that might be the ticket too, especially with how shallow they were. But I don't know if they're all going to be shallow. That's the real question. I might try throwing the drop shot right here real quick. See if maybe I can entice those to bite right there. Probably don't want to stay in the same place too, too long, but we'll just kind of see what happens. Just go from there. Probably stay here for about five more minutes or so. Then probably start moving on. There we go. Okay, that one feels pretty decent. Stay on, buddy. I really need you. Oh yeah, that one's the keeper, probably. Thirteen inches, right on the dot. So I'm gonna send him on his way. Thanks, little buddy. There we go. There's fish number three. Well, technically four for the day, but... You know, uh, that one that I caught earlier was not big enough, which is, that's fine. I mean, I'll take a 13-incher, uh, especially whenever I don't have my limit. But I will probably have to start catching some bigger ones here after I get my limit. So, just one more fish, though. I caught him, like, right over there, kind of near that dock. Currently, I am in 14th place, which is pretty good. I'll take that. 
definitely want to try to see if I can get in the top 10 and stay in the top 10 but we'll just kind of have to see how all today goes we got a few hours left to fish we got until three and it's almost nine now so about six more hours left that one was probably the deepest one I've caught all day that one's probably sitting in about 10 feet but I feel like it was up near that dock Want to make sure I have the net ready just in case <laughs> if I get a big one because you you never know whenever it's going to happen. It's kind of like that one earlier. I was not really expecting that. After we catch our limit, we're going to try to hopefully get some bigger ones. That's the goal at least. And then if we can do that, then we might have a pretty good chance of placing the top 10. So I think people might be struggling today. I won't really know until like kind of the end, to be honest with you. But if I could place in the top 25, that would be great for AOI standings. If I could place higher, that would be even better. And to qualify for the Tournament of Champions at the end of the year. So that would be great because they take your, I think it's your best seven. So, I mean, this would be a, a very good one to place on. This wacky has just been doing great today so far. I love fishing the wacky rig. It's probably one of my favorite finesse presentations for largemouth and spotted bass. I mean, I'll use the Ned rig every now and again too, but definitely the wacky rig, especially whenever I'm fishing shallow water, that's, there's nothing better than it, honestly, especially this time of year. There has to be a fish right here. The wind's blowing straight ahead of me and it should be blown into this dock. So maybe bass are waiting to ambush some bait fish, maybe? Makes me feel a lot better that we caught three so far, though. But the day's not done with. I've just been letting it slowly fall, and I'll feel a little weight, and that's how I've been catching my fish. Because I'm fishing the wacky rig in probably a little bit deeper water than I should right now. I mean, it's not much. It's probably only, like, a couple feet. I don't generally like to fish it anywhere past 10 feet i mean i'll do like 15 or 20 sometimes but i gotta be like really patient with it to let it fall it's now raining a little bit so maybe that'll make them bite a little bit more hopefully it doesn't rain for too too long because i forgot my rain jacket i think the rain might be letting up a little bit we'll probably just fish all these dogs i mean why not who knows there might be a big one hiding up underneath it or in between them you never know so i think that's going to be the game plan for now at least and it's pretty shallow up through here so it's perfect if they are spawning then they're going to be here they might be pretty far back up in here There we go. Oh, this one feels decent. Stay on, buddy. I really need you. Oh, yeah. Not too shabby. That's not a bad one. All right. Fish number four. 13 and a half inches. Not too shabby. Thanks, buddy. I decided to get out of here and go try another spot because this is not working um i mean it says there's fish here but i just can't get them to bite so i'm gonna try to go where i caught fish earlier try to see if maybe there's some more there i really just need to call a few fish and i'd be pretty sad i could probably place in the top 25 so that's probably what i'm gonna try to do i feel like this is probably the best because i just i don't feel like they're here because I stopped getting a bite pretty much like a quarter of the way up. So we're going to go try like this other cove over here. It's just like they shut off. I checked the leaderboards and not a lot of people have been catching them either. So I don't know. It might be the conditions or, or it could really be anything. So, I mean, I see the fish, but I just 
can't get them to bite. So I think running down here might be a good gamble. It could also really backfire on us and you know we don't catch any fish. But I think that's kind of the risk that we're going to have to take. This was actually not the way I was wanting to come earlier. But it was uh, my second option. Who knows, maybe that first section that I picked might be pretty good. I just don't know how pressured it got, uh, you know, while I've been back up in here. So I guess we'll have to see if we can catch any. But if I can just get in the top 25, I'd be very happy. You know, I really don't even have to get in the top 25, but it would, it would help a lot. I'm just glad that we're actually placing today and didn't get a skunk because it definitely took a bit of my confidence away fishing those first few tournaments so it's nice to actually get out here and catch some fish and i mean if you look at it i mean there's a lot of fish just can't get them to bite now granted all those might not even be bass but that's okay but hopefully this pays off and we're able to cull at least like five or six inches and that would that would help a lot or if we caught like one big one or a couple big ones, that'd be pretty cool too. I forgot to record an outro. It's like the next day and I ended up placing 53rd. Not catching a fish there, not being able to actually cull any of my fish actually really messed me up. But I placed 53rd out of 94 anglers, which isn't that bad. And there's always next time, so I'm not really upset about it. It is what it is, and I'm just happy that I was able to place for this tournament. Here in like two weeks, we're going to Norman, so that's my next main priority. And then the week after that, I'm going to Texas for the Bassmaster Kayak Series. It'll be the second stop, so I'm pretty excited. We got a lot of stuff going on the next couple weeks, so make sure you don't miss that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, and I'm really excited for these next couple weeks and what's going to bring. This is really going to challenge me as an angler, and I really cannot wait. The Wacky Rig really helped me produce some fish on Hartwell, and I was trying to throw the jig for a bigger bite, but unfortunately, I didn't get one, and that's okay, but... I did still do pretty good. If only a couple of my fish were just a couple inches bigger, I would have placed a lot higher. I think separating me and the top 25 was about six inches, so if I just caught a little bit bigger of average fish, then I would have been pretty decent. But you win some, you lose some. I can't really be upset because the past few tournaments I haven't even played, so. I'm really happy that I was actually able to place this time. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you can also follow me on Instagram. I'll have it linked down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.